hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back to my channel. And guess what I have today? I've had this for about a week or so now and I've been dying to play with it. So here we are, the full ColourPop Bambi collection. And yes, you're going, you old. Why are you into the cute Bambi stuff? Well, let me tell you why. I saw Bambi with my mom, of course, and as you might know if you saw my previous video coming back after a month. I lost my mom recently, February 6th. When this came out, if I was on the fence about this at all, losing my mom made me have nostalgia and have to have the full Bambi collection. So here we are. I have it. And let me tell you, I peeked at it and I am not regretting any of this. I am so glad I got the full collection. So far, just looking at it, and peeking at everything. I love it. The only reason I peeked at it is to try and think of what I wanted to do with this. So let's get into this and see what we have. I've already prepped my face and I have a candle of the day today to show you. I had to go with this because we have Bambi, we have spring, we have flowers. Florals for spring, groundbreaking. Well, I got this on the BoxyCharm pop-up. I'm glad I grabbed it before they sold out because it's so cute. Let's get into this collection because I'm so excited. I don't even know what to start with. This is all so cute. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to start with this highlighter. <laughs> this is the Pixie Puff highlighter. It's very sparkly. I want to say a, a pinky bronze, like almost like a rose gold. This, this is called Morning Light. Pixie Puff Highlighter. This came in the set. I did buy the full collection of Bambi, so I just basically got everything because I thought, you know, if I'm going to go for it, I'm not going to screw around getting the whole thing. It's got all the characters. I do not have a favorite character. I always love Flower because you got a little cute little skunk. I have the Cream Gel Pencil Trio, Raindrops Meadow and Purdy, P-U-R-T-Y, which I always say. So I'm like, I'm just and rolling out over this collection. I'm sorry. I just am. It's so freaking adorable. It just turns me into a little kid again, which that's what makeup should make you feel like. Like it should make you feel happy and warm and fuzzy. And this is raindrops. This looks like kind of metallic-y. And oh, I am here for that color. Meadow is a goldy yellow. It's really light. Don't know what I'm going to use that for. Last color is purdy. I'm so glad I got this. So that's purdy. That is your three gel liners. I love all three. I will definitely be using all of these. Bambi Falsies. It's called Oh Dear. And these are really cute. I really like these a lot. These are my kind of lashes. Twitcher Painted Lux Gloss Trio. Bambi Flower and Bumper are the names. These are so cute and so pretty, these colors. By the way, I love the chartreuse color on everything. That's one of my favorite colors. I don't know how much you're gonna see these on my hand because if you are familiar with the Lux Gloss, they're a little tiny bit of color. You don't really see a lot on a hand. Thumper is the pink with the gold. Bambi is of course the fawn color. Oh, that also has a lot more tone to it. Flower, Thumper, and Bambi on my hand here. When you do these Lux Glosses on your hand, they're just kind of like, they're really, really subtle. I don't know. Oh, God. Ooh. I love them. These so cute. Bambi first. As a not so neutral girl, as you know, I am not. The colors are Little April Shower, Feline, Young Prince, Kind of Bashful, and White Tail. There is Bambi. If you go over to my friend Raven's channel, I'll put a link below. She just got the Animal Crossing collection. Just did a review of it. She kind of inspired me to break out this Bambi collection today because we were talking about it in her comments. So here is the Bambi collection. We have White Tail, Kinda Bashful, Young Prince, Faleen, which is a beautiful gold, and Little April Shower, which is just a really, really nice transitional shade. These are neutrals, but they're really poppin'. You know I'm gonna love flower because it's like pink and purple, so. What? Oh, Raven is going to be upset. No, she won't be upset because she loves Animal Crossing. But she was saying she got the Animal Crossing instead of getting Bambi. Raven, go back and get Bambi. <gasps> this color hibernating is going to be on me all the time. There they are right there next to my arm. And really true to color on my arm and the pale. Every color, usable, wearable. Okay, Thumper, this one. Gonna blow your mind how pretty this is. This is spring in a palette to me. This is Thumper. This color I'm thumping, I am already in love with. 
Do you see this? Look at this green. Middle finger green. Ooh, 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 ooh. These are really nice. They're more metallic-y. This is a great color, long ears. This is a color you could just pull out and use with other palettes. And great big feet. Oh, I love that name. Great big feet. You can see those on my arm. And right there are our swatches. That is Thumper Collection. I want to wear all the colors. I do want to keep this very subtle. I'm not going to go crazy. These all deserve their own separate video. That's how much I like them. Let's see how they perform on the eye. Let me put all these together. You could have these all in one giant palette if you don't get ideas just from looking at this. I mean, you can do so much with these. That's another thing I like about these. They stand on their own. And then if you put Thumper and flower together. Look at those two together. I've seen bigger palettes that are all colors similar to this. You could almost do one giant palette of all of these. ColourPop probably could have done that, but it might have been, like, people would have been like, eh, it's a lot. Let's do one eye in Bambi. Let's I want to do a transition color out of Thumper because I'm really liking these. So let's do... There, it's not collectible anymore. Nah, no, that's all right. I'm gonna start with Friend Owl in the crease. Okay, it's very, very light, but it's nice. It's very, like, natural looking. So that's a good thing. Darken it up a little bit with long ears. This is gonna be a quick look because I just wanna play with them a little bit and get a first impression. I'm gonna use a little white tail. I really like this color a lot. Just to deepen up in the corner. They blend together really, really well really pretty. They blend so nice. I see all these colors and my mind just goes, whew, I think of all these things I want to do. So I have to kind of rein myself in a little bit. I'm doing Miss Bunny. It's going on my lid. So shy. Putting a little bit of this on my brow bone on the side. They lean on the middle of the lid. That's nice. I said I'm not going to be crazy. I'm not. So shy. Perfect little inner corner. Subtle, not too crazy. So not me. Little April shower. I just want to do a little bit of this up here just to brighten it up. So bringing a little bit of that gold up to here. That is a Bambi ass looking eye right there. Pardon my French. That's a Bambi ass looking eye. You think Bambi? Bam, that eye. Let's go in on this eye. Let's try to just stick with the flower palette. Pretty flower. A lot of fallout in this pan. Seems to have a little bit more fallout than the others. Pretty flower. Right here is a transition. Really like it. You know what sucks when you're blind and you have to find brushes? And I'm like, is this a brush? I seriously am so blind. Little stinker. We have a lot of fallout in this flower. Thumper really barely had any. Little stinker is really nice to just darken up that crease. I am really liking these. Fallout thing aside, no. Fallout aside, I'm really liking these. I love these colors in the flower palette. I'm finding it hard doing an eye with just these colors. And here's why. The only color I really have to do here and here, I have these two. And then you have these like shimmer, shimmer. All I have is so shy. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to use it all. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I take it back. I'm sorry, flower. That worked really well. And it's... What? I love when a palette proves me wrong, don't you? What just happened on my eye? What just happened on my eye? I swear, I just totally was knocking this palette and it just went, oh yeah, let me show you. Let me show you what's not wrong with me. Oh gosh, it's very crumbly. It's really crumbly. I mean, you stick a brush in there, you could, you could really mess up this whole thing. Pretty inner corner. It's such a gorgeous color, but I wish the formula was a little bit more bougie for me, just to, I could use a little bit more smoothness on this and not so crumbly. It's a shame almost because the color is like so pretty, oh gosh, and then you try to use it and you're like, crumble, 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 crumble. I'm just brightening up around the edges with so shy. Again. Look at the fallout. <gasps> Are you catching the flower? Definitely number one for fallout to me. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors, but the fallout, girl, Oh, good God. Fall out of my cheek, too. Oh, let's see how she blends. Good thing I powdered under my eyes because the fallout is no joke with that. The fallout with hibernation is seriously no joke. Let's see how she blends in. Oh, nice. Okay. See, this is where 
you just got to give it to ColourPop for the cost, which is very minimal. Look how nice that blended out. So shy, right in the middle here. A nice bright eyelid on the side. So there's our two sides, Bambi and Thumper, and this is exclusively just using flower on this side. So far I'm loving these though. We're gonna try raindrops under here. Oh wow. Really, really nice. I really like that a lot. Little stinker. I got little stinker under my eye. That sounds totally disgusting. There's a little stinker under my eye and a little stinker behind me. What is she doing back there? What are you doing, stinker? This is purdy. I think this one would have been better under this eye. I'm just gonna darken the corner a little bit with purdy. I'm gonna take a break here. I'm gonna throw on the lashes and I will be right back. And we're back and the lashes are on and that was a trial. It wasn't the lashes, it was user error. It was terrible. I was so bad at putting my lashes on today. Love it. I put a couple little flowers on. Formulas, you know, here and there a little sketchy. Which gloss to do? I don't know. I'm gonna do Bambi because really I think it shows up the most and I don't have any lip product on at all. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a peachy gold. And I did do Pixie Puff Highlighter in Morning Light. You can see right here, some highlight and on my nose. And this is our full Bambi base. I think it's awfully cute. What do you think? I think I love it. I think this is one of my favorite looks I've done in a long time, even mismatched eyes. In conclusion, the Bambi collection, all the things. Do I regret this? No, I am so glad I got the full collection. Really for the cost of ColourPop, the color payoff, the formula, the blending, highly recommend. I believe you can still get this. If it is sold out, get on that email list. And I recommend these. And don't forget to watch back and see what colors I said to be careful with because there are a few. There are a few that are a little touchy, but you can work with them. I hope you like this first impression. I am definitely gonna be doing more with this because seriously, I love this. I really love this. Happy with everything, obligatory face. ColourPop Bambi collection. Huge win in my opinion. Just my opinion. I'm sure there are people out there who probably hate it. I love it. It worked for me. It, everything doesn't work for everyone, but this worked for me and I really like it. I hope you like this video. Make sure you go back and watch the video it will be linked below for my 100 subscriber giveaway. My channel's personal. I want my giveaway to be personal because that's what we do here. Go check out that video and then head over to my Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and check out Raven's review of the Animal Crossing collection. If you want to compare and contrast mine and my Bambi and her Animal Crossing. She got most things in that collection and I got everything in Bambi. I think between the two of us, we can say maybe Bambi beat out Animal Crossing. And it's kind of cute because she's a big fan of Animal Crossing and she said she didn't get Bambi because she didn't really have a big connection to it, but I do. So I got Bambi. So it's kind of neat how that worked out with both of us. <laughs> we both got our thing we love. Fortunately, my formulas and colors and everything seem to work a little bit better for me than hers did for her. But both the collections are really cute if you are interested in Animal Crossing. I was not interested in it, so I didn't get that. So definitely watch Raven's video and first impressions on that. But Bambi, love it. I think they're gorgeous. I love them. That's it. Make sure you enter my giveaway. Subscribe, like, share this post. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.